That's right. You limp, disgusting body. You just lay there. It actually is pretty creepy, right? There you have it, my friends. You found the lens of truth. Alright. That leads to the Shadow Temple. Hey, welcome back, guys. This is the Shadow Temple. This one is harder than the last, and not as hard as the next. As with any good game, the levels get more and more difficult as they go along. There's a lot of enemies in this one. The Shadow Temple, uh, Wallmasters, Stalfos, Bemos, Gibdos, uh, Red Bubbles, uh, Like Like, Skulltellas, Rededs, Keys, and finally the big bad, Bongo Bongo. I've got it right here. That's my bongo drum from when I was a kid. A, uh, a family heirloom passed to me. I've been a drummer for most of my life, and uh, until I switched to saxophone, I can play both. And uh, I still have this little bongo drum here, and I just thought it appropriate to take it out for today's big boss, Bongo Bongo. So I'm ready. I've got my bongo ready. There's also some good stuff in the temple as well. In the Shadow Temple, we also have a bunch of gold skulltellas, and finally, the great prize, which are the hover boots. And we need those hover boots to cross many great distances. And with the lens of truth, which we got last time, I hope you do check out that video where we went to the bottom of the well as a child, we got the lens of truth. This allows us to see all of the many different invisible platforms, invisible doors, invisible walls, all illusions, all lies, and all brought to light where we use the lens of truth and we can finally see them. So guys, this is Loudboy. I thank you for being here. I appreciate all of the comments you guys have been leaving me, all the good vibes you've been sending me, and this has been a pleasure. The Zelda series is absolute. Yeah, it's my favorite game series of all time. Easily said, I was thinking Mario and some other ones. No, it's definitely Zelda. Um, pretty obvious. You can look around my, uh, my little room here and you can tell that already. So anyway, I digress. Let's move on. Let's have some fun. Let's go do the Shadow Temple. This is Loud Boy. Thank you for being here. Let's go get him. We're going into the Shadow Temple. It's going to be fun. As you can see, it's a lovely lovely evening in Hyrule here in the cemetery the graveyard we lit these last time as you know opening the door to the shadow temple and we're in can you guys hear that? Right away, if you recall the last episode, the bottom of the well, there were a bunch of fake doors. Fake walls. And doors. There are plenty of hidden doors here. So, this is one of them. Now, I just turned on the lens of truth. And that shows us the truth of where we're at. So we can just venture in. Yes, thank you. So as we can see right away in this room, it looks like the way is shut. And there is no conceivable way at this time for us to cross over there. And we need to get over there. So let's look around this room. Yeah. 
There's no way out of here, is there? There seems to be some kind of device here. It says, make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is descent into deep darkness. All right. So the gist is this. We need the lens of truth to figure out what is truth and what is a lie. Kind of like life, isn't it? Kind of important to know the truth. So, turning on our lens of truth, let me wander around the room. Oh, that's interesting. That's the way we came. But this door is open as well. How do I know the difference? Well, because I'm not turned around. That is the way out. However, this is the way forward. This area, one who gains the eye of truth, will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. So, another fake wall. An illusion, an apparition. Wandering around here, <laughs> so many messages. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. I didn't hear him say Washington, D.C. Um, so, moving around. It's the last time I'll make a joke like that. Shadow Temple, okay, would you... They're relentless with that message, by the way. This area has two square rooms or hallways that run in a square. They're interconnected, and one of the ways, you know, you can see the truth and see the false wall to lead to the next. Um, but there are two very important items that we need in this section of the dungeon. One of which is sort of to the right, the other one's kind of ahead. Let's go to the right first. So, if my bearings are correct, and I sure as heck hope they are. Yep. That is the way we came. Okay, that's the door. You can see also that as I use the lens of truth, it is not only revealing the truth, and by the way, it's kind of marked with a, the glowing skull eyeballs right there. It's also using our magic meter. Aha! What do we have here? And what sword do I have? I'm currently rocking the master sword. No, I'm not. Sorry. Forgive me. Okay. If you guys recall as well, I don't think I've done it maybe once. Um, normally I kind of just blitz by these guys. But if we play the Sun Song, that's a lovely thing. It's amazing what happens when you bring the light, right? Again, another life lesson. A couple of swipes with a bigger sword. Done and done. Hold on. I say done. Oh, there, there are keys in here. That's right. I do not want to be caught off guard. Where are you guys? You know what? Let's... Oh, oh there is one. I was going to map my fairy bow real quick and snipe him, but... There we go. They came to me, huh? My very own DoorDash for uh, dungeon bats. Okay, here we go. That was not a plug. Right away, we have a map. Nice. All right, you can see that in lower right-hand corner. You guys know the drill. So we now have a map and some arrows. Thank you for that. Again, false wall, walking on through. All right, the next section in which we need adventure that was kind of random. It's sort of this way. Yeah. See that? How it reveals itself? I turn on the lens of truth. So going on in. A lot of messages. All right, here we go. All right, this way. I believe it's sort of towards the back, if I, re if I recall correctly. Whoa. We just stumbled into that one. All right, here we go. Let's do that again. I want you guys to see it. There we go. So, again, towards the back of this square section, if you will, is another. Remember the bottom of the well? Dead hand. 
2.0, and this time, I believe he has more arms and grabs us with two arms. Yeah, thank you, dude. Uh-huh, you can let go now. Come on, come and get it, come and get it, come and get it. Alright, yeah, go ahead and grab me. Yeah, do your thing. Alright, here he comes. Okay, you can let go now. Thank you. Oh man, I wanted to get another swipe in there. Didn't get it, it's okay. Again, two hands grabbing me. Come on, Link, you can break free, buddy. Break free. Here we go. Oh, oh crud. I did not mean for that to happen. Targeting, Z target. All right. You just lay there and think about what you did. You piece of scum. You rebel scum. Star Wars. All right. I know, you guys knew that already. For now on, uh, I'll just say the lines referencing my favorite movies. I'll try not to say the movie afterwards. Hover boots. So, as you know, we have our regular boots. We have our iron boots. And now we have hover boots. Like the water temple, this temple also requires us to switch boots on and off. So fun. However, these have some really sweet capabilities. Alright, Dead Hand 2.0. Down the proverbial toilet. That guy's gone. Let's get the heck out of here. Turning on the lens of truth. Those should be empty. Alright. Okay, seriously with him. Alright. Lens of truth shows me the false wall. Going through. All right, this will bring us back to the room with the bird statue. Remember I had that message about the, uh, the beak facing the skull of truth, I believe? All right, so looking around with the lens of truth, check it out. With the lens of truth on, all but this one right here. Turning it off, turning it on. See how they disappear on, the, on this post? Yep, yeah, I think you guys got it. All right, but this post that I'm standing right next to, I should take a selfie. Um, this post right here is the one that is the true one. You know, again, looking around the room, no one else has it. So, grabbing hold. Yes, thank you. And <laughs> I hope it's this one. We're about to find out, right? I get to talking, right? And then it's like, I forget what the heck I'm doing. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, you can like, let... Once you have the motion going, Link's just like, he... That's what can happen. I did that for example. All right, you guys had to know. All right, so, yeah, it is this one right here. And we'll try not to mess things up this time. So now you know what happens. That was fun. A scene right out of Indiana Jones. Or at the end of Empire. Oh, there we go. At the end of Empire Strikes Back. The original version before the Emperor got stupidly brought back. Don't get me going on that. That was such a beautiful redemption story. An arc in which Vader once Anakin Skywalker saves his son from pure evil. What a villainous piece of crap the Emperor is. Yeah, so, my, my phone's ringing. Um, in the fact that in the end, when Luke reaches out, Father, please help, you know, he saves him. Redemption. And and for Luke to face his father, Anakin. So good. You know, that, as a kid, I remember the day in 1983 in which I went to see. I know. I'm no spring chicken. 
Moving on, um, when that I went to see Return of the Jedi. I remember standing in line. I remember the car drive to the movie. We went to my matinee. Yeah, I remember the car drive to the to the movie theater. Um, I remember watching Empire Strikes. I remember getting all my toys. Uh, back behind me, I have the real version of this. And I really want to show you guys. Okay, this is the shuttle, except. The real toy that I got for Christmas, probably 84, 83, is, you know, is bigger than the frame that I'm currently sitting within. You know, I still have all my original figures. Point is, huge Star Wars fan. And that redemption arc for Vader to bring him back, the Emperor, it, it, it makes it all meaningless. And so, I said, don't get me gone. And I kept going. Yeah, shocker, right? Um, it just bothers me. All right. Right away, in this next room, we have a Beemos. And in here, we need... You know, there's a couple of ways we can deal with this guy. Get my mind off of Star Wars for a minute. If you guys haven't seen the original trilogy, and if you've only seen the trilogy made by... Jar Jar Abrams, the modern trilogy. Um, check them out. Okay? Watch the original Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. As you guys know, I have a poster right up here. It's signed by Mark Hamill, by Carrie Fisher, and Harrison Ford. Oh, it's one of my prized possessions. The fact that I have an autographed poster by them. That's beside the point. I love those movies, I grew up in those movies. I still cherish those movies. And uh, it would be lovely to see a Star Wars movie properly made again someday. All right, guys. I'll try to... Uh... Okay, that, that was a really, you know, again. And mind on Zelda, not on Star Wars. You can normally, you can actually throw this at the guy and I, I should be through. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Goodbye, Beamos. All right, next up. Whoops. Okay, <laughs> I'm so distracted right now. Oh, I could go on for hours about Star Wars. Oh, check them out. Another version of the Redead. So let, let's check this. Uh, let me go get our um, ocarina. Play the Sun Song. And as you may know, or you may not know, crud, they got me again. As an example, I had to show you, right? Um, you play the Sun Song, it freezes them in place, just like we did in that last room. And that way they can't freeze us in place. Yeah, we got the compass. I shall take it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. How would you stop? What do I have about? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. This is the way. Not the way. Hey, I never said it was perfect. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let's see. I believe it's. Uh, I believe it's this way. Sorry, guys. Yep. Here we are. The scythe room. Pretty cool, actually. Giant spinning blade scythe running around the room. There's another one following this, even trickier. This is similar to other rooms in which we've ventured, in which we must collect the silver rupees, right? So that was pretty obvious from the fact that there's a bunch of silver rupees around here. 
I love the little chimes that let you know you're increasing in number. Quite beautiful. Love it. Okay. Oh. Doing well. Doing well. All right. There's a hook shot. Brings us up here. Jumping off. And yeah, hit me in the face again. I wish I could bomb that guy. Right? Take him out some way. Oh, but... Oh, darn it. I almost got it. Alright. This is what you can do, though. You can duck under it. Using your shield. Come on. Come on. Try Oh, you missed me. You missed me. Nice try, dude. Oh. And you got me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, would you stop? Why did we come to the scythe room? Small key. Alright, I believe... <clears throat> excuse me. I believe we're down in this room and... Shield up. Okay. You can check your map. Scythe room. There is a there's a wall here, okay. And if we walk around the room, that guy is just out to get me, isn't he? All right. There's actually a bombable wall here. All right. So let's get out our bombs. Turn off that. Lens the truth one more time. There it is. Close up using the small key that we just acquired. We move on to the next phase. And that was close. Thank you, sir. Any day in which I can kill a spider as an arachnophobic. I hate spiders. Man, do I hate spiders. The rub is that, as a husband and father, it has fallen upon me to kill all the spiders that come across our way, that come inside our house, right? Even the ones outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and I hate spiders. I hate them. I mean, Again, but I keep mentioning Indiana Jones. It's the weirdest thing. Um, you know, when he gets in the plane, after he gets the idol in the beginning of the movie. He goes, I hate snakes! I hate them! That's me with spiders. Oh. There's just something... Primal evil. Primeval. He's warning us about the... Uh, the big hand that comes down. I don't even know what it's called. No, I do, it's just forgot. Um, yeah, there's something super evil, like they're from the gates of hell, spiders, and I can't stand them. So, um, yeah. And here he comes. And there he goes. Thank you for the uh, rupees. Donating to Link's college fund. You can use the hover booster here. However, I've found that they can be a bit too slippery. Zero traction. So therefore, time the sucker out, okay? You gotta time it. I find you wait till that thing is descending. Run forward, and normally that timing works pretty well. <laughs> we'll see, right? We'll see. Alright, so far so good. You will be surprised by 
Yowza. That was close. Didn't even know that ledge was. <laughs> wow. Um. I'm in midair, I'm thinking, should I have my hover boots on? Should I, uh... Okay, I, w I, w I was wanting to tell you that, you know, I get in such trouble talking. Um, that, yeah, right there. That's what I want to tell you about. That guy comes out of nowhere. And that was on my mind, and Auto Jump did the rest. Thank you, Auto Jump, as usual. It's your friend till it isn't. Alright, here we go. Hover boots, I believe are necessary for this part. And down, up, and down. Hammer across, okay. Yeah, not today, dude. Oh, no, hover boots off. I cannot be slipping around with this guy. Sir, there is a lovely little surprise right here. Checking our yeah, we're good on fairies. That see how Navi is turning green. Well, what you can do is play the sun song. I believe it's the sun song. We're about to find out, right? Okay, it's not the sun song. All right, Song of Storms? Is it the Song of Storms? Okay, let's try that. Song of Storms, okay. It releases one of these little bonus fairies. Come on, dude. Thank you. Love that, okay. Here we go. We we can go to the right, okay? We need to go to the right. However, behind us, there's a gold skull teller, and I really want one. So, to do this, we need two things. We already have one mapped. The other are our hover boots. Check it out. Turning on the lens of truth makes those platforms appear. I just keep the lens of truth off. I know they're there, and I take a leap of faith. And it works. We're walking on sunshine. That was really stupid. Alright. Hover boots off. Wash, rinse, repeat. Water temple. Alright. Aha! Look who's across the room. This room has some secrets, though, guys. It has some secrets. So check it out. Lens of Truth on. Oh! Well, what's this? An invisible scythe grim dual grim reaper in the middle. Okay. Given that. But however, I believe if you watch walk around the edge. Okay, that scythe will Yes, I know. One down. Oh, he got me, he got me. All right, Lens of Truth reveals. Oh, it's not that, all right, you know what? Let me go over here first. Oh, I think that's the Song of Time. Again, doing this from memory. All right. There is a keys right there. Gate open. Again, hugging the walls, okay? The scythe doesn't reach the very edges of the room. Hello! You are our prize. Thank you for playing. And a blue rupee. Nice. Worth the price of admission. Like it. I want. I want to test this sucker out and do the song of time here. So let's get 
that. And... Sign of time. I want to say, if memory serves, a time block will appear. And it didn't. You're welcome. Only the best, right? Okay, it's a couple of hearts. Guess what? I don't need them. That's how I'll justify that. Alright. Exiting the way we came. We have to go back the way we came. And therefore, remember what we needed? Hover boots. Again, taking our leap of faith. This time, remember we, uh... We fought that dude right here. And he's back. Hello, man. I don't have to fight him, however. I also do not want to mess up my timing of things. Jumping off that ledge. I want to do it correctly, and therefore I want, I want him gone. He's gone. All right. This can be tricky. Hover boots are helpful. As you can see right here, there is a platform rising and lowering. Okay? It's obviously best to go at it while you're on... Sorry, uh, while it's at its lowest point. <clears throat> I used to go straight here. However, I've found it to be helpful to actually go here first. You can miss that ledge that's straight ahead, but if you turn to your right slightly, there is a lower platform, if you will. There. Okay, this is a little mini puzzle. Let's look around. I see four, and I believe there's one hiding in the beetles. Again, memory serves. And let's hope it does. Okay. Let's get a target lock on that Beamos here. Take it a bomb. Oops, that's not what I want. That is what I wanted. Yep. There is one hiding there. Running around. Gathering. And we are in. Nice. Oh yeah, I like this room. Pretty cool room. Okay, this is the spike trap room. Right away, it looks like it's something that we can't pass. Because believe me, we'll definitely get crushed by those spikes. We do not want to go under there. However, Lens of Truth, check it out. There's a hidden block right there. And I hear the dulcet tones. Of a gold skull teller. He's calling my name. I think I need him. We need to get him, don't we? Oh. Yeah, is that not good enough? So line it up here. And that'll work. Okay. So. This block can actually act as a barrier between us and the spikes. And in doing so, it creates what I believe the game calls a stone umbrella. Check it out. All right? Those spikes are now landing on top of that. All right. There are a few little items in these little alcoves here. Including the gold skull which I want to go get. Let's cross to the other side. There we go. This reminds me of some of the uh, jail cells. In uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. And we got another one. We are up to 58. Nice. Okay. So the trick here. By the way, there's one more here. Okay, so on one side, a couple of clay pots. And this side, some arrows. The big, big prize, though, however, is something we haven't gotten to just yet. And like I said, on the other side, it's called Skeletella. 
to our right right now, and of course to the left, you know, you just saw the small chest. So again, pulling this brick, this block, all the way to the end. Okay? It's actually a little step down right there, but this should give us access. That's right, to climb on up. From here, we can do this or we can do that. Uh, sometimes you can actually claim, but let me, uh, let me learn to choose this, this sucker. Okay, so nothing. All right, you can actually step on top of these. Like so. And there's a switch. Aha, there it was. That's the truth, no. I start using that more and more. Now that they've introduced... Now that, five. Uh, now that they've introduced the Lens of Truth, uh, the game's going to start hiding a lot more stuff from us. Okay? It's just kind of how it is. This is the great thing about chests. You can hook shot or long shot right over to them. There's the prize. Very crucial. We don't go on further into this dungeon without getting that small key. Mission accomplished. We're out. Okay, right back out here to this massive cavernous room. You probably recognize that is the Beemos where we collected... Keep hitting my lens of truth. Uh, that's the Beemos where we collected the uh, five rupees, okay? So, in that right there is that rising falling platform and just beyond that, that ledge up there, that's where we fought that dude a couple times and released the fairy using the Song of Storms. Okay. This is tricky unless you know otherwise. Check it out. There is a platform just beyond here. And I believe I can do it without the hover boots. I need the hover boots for the next part, though. We're not standing on anything, are we? So to speak. But the lens of truth re reveals otherwise. So, once again, we don don our boots. Waiting for it to come back. And getting on. And getting off. And we're in. We just use that small key. This room, full of spikes. Okay, see them there, see them there. Couple of uh, re-deads as well. You know what? I'm gonna take my chances here. <laughs> Sir, boots off. Of course, I think I might need them in a moment, but that's okay. Going around to this side of the room. Make sure I don't. I want to get these guys. There we go. Before they get you. So I uh, start slash and burn before. Uh... Nice. Okay. Chest. <laughs> really, really. That's what I got. Okay. So this is this is the tricky part, so to speak. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Yep, there we go. This one's easy enough, it's on the floor. I said easy enough. Line yourself up, sort of kind of thing, uh, diagonally, if you will. There we go. That is an invisible ledge, and I'm trying to remember if yeah, that, see without the lens of truth right there? It actually reveals that hookshot target. Can we get another one? This is where you need those hover boots, which I just mentioned. And here we go. Door open. And I know it's the right door because, again, looking at my map, the compass tells me that red arrow, you know, the map in the bottom right hand corner, red arrow tells me where we've come from, and the yellow tells me where we are. So if I'm not going back toward that, I know I'm not going backwards. Ah, yes, this room. This is where you need to throw bombs. However, into that guy, there's some prizes we can get. Main prize. Gold's Coltella. Okay. 
Okay, what we need to do, we got the gold skull on that back wall. That's great. And I knew they were there. And I let them get me anyway. Yep. One. When I said they, I meant they. There are two of them up here. I can see his eyes from here. Right up in that top left. Uh, there's actually two more right there. Let's quickly dispatch you, these guys. See ya, dudes. Very good. Alright, they are kind enough. Oh, there's one more. They are kind enough to um, give us... That releases the door by eliminating all the enemies in the room. And again, they are kind enough to give us a bomb flower, toss it in the giant skull, blows up. Do you see that fall to the ground? Just to the right, right there? Small key was adding inside. Okay, that gives us one small key. All right, we are back in the spike room. Now, looking up. Yeah, that's a hidden one right there. Turning off lens of truth, go on. Back, go on, see? All right, so turning it on, we can now see that slingshot target. Using our small key, and we're through the door. Ah, this is where the fun begins. I sigh, remembering the past. I've been a real knucklehead with this section before. I finally got better at it over time. You know, like anything in life, right? Um, why do I have iron boots on? Because when that fan blows, it'll blow us back, either just all the way back or into one of those little... Okay, he's up. Hello. Bye. I guess I'll keep my iron boots on for now. So the trick here is, there's a fan across the way, but there's also a massive gap. Okay, check it out. All right. So the trick here is to, it's kind of obvious. We need to walk when the fan isn't running with the hover boots. And jump it down. Yes. This room, interesting. Off to your left, I'm wondering if you, if you guys can see it, barely see it. There is an alcove to the left. You see that? Okay. Um, just past that first fan on the left. Okay. Just, just, just beyond it. We need to go in there. However, looking around the room, we have two fans on the right, one on the left, alternating when they actually move. This is where the iron boots are helpful. They give us plenty of traction, if you will. Okay, looking over here. Yep, I'm right across from it. How would you go? I don't know. Fire on this coming. However, we need to switch to our hover boots to get across this section. Right? Completely with right there. Um, I love saying All right. Yes. There are a few hidden things in here as well. I believe we can use... I want to say we can bomb that. We can bomb that. Yeah, and right there, hidden. See how I bombed that pile of rubble? There's a hidden chest right here. <laughs> Which is like the main prize for this room. Alright. We got the key. Oh, you got me. You got me. Oh, you got me. You got me again. I know, I should have played the Sun Song. Just running ahead. But, 
defeating those guys reveals another chest. Like I said. Thanks. Um. Checking the room again. Kind of a good policy in general to use your lens of truth, especially in this dungeon and the next. Um, because again, they're going to be hiding stuff a lot more over and over again. So um, that's what they do. So what I want to do here is, yes, I need this block. Okay. By the way, this is really cool. I think about the uh, the river sticks here. Uh, the ferryman and all that kind of stuff. You can see some of their inspiration. But this block right here will be instrumental in us getting to a, a ledge so we can get on the boat. And, uh, yeah. There's a couple more things we can do in this room. A couple more prizes, if you will, before we get on the boat. Yeah, I saw that. I saw Navi. Navi's trying to tell me something. What do you want to tell us, girl? Hmm. That's not quite what I... But I hear something. You guys hear that? Well, let's go tell them. By moving that block. Reveals a great. that actually opened up a shortcut. Okay. And, uh, wow, love that. And, uh, maybe, uh, you know, let me go up just in case. Forgive me for not remembering this perfectly. Um, yeah, we're going further away. Yeah, I believe this is a shortcut off of the scythe route. It sure is. Check it out. Lines of truth off. Which is good. And that hurt. Um, because if you need to, you can actually... Yeah, it's up above. I'll show you in a second. I guess I'm pressing it. Okay. So, looking across. See how Navi's all lit up right there? I don't always get this to work perfectly, but we're going to give it a try. That happens to be my Scarecrow song. Nothing. Okay, right. Come on, girl. I'm trying to zero in on her. Oh, I don't always get this right. If, if, forgive me for not getting the mechanics perfect here. I kind of stink at this part. Oh. Come on, Navi. Do your thing. There you go. How's that for failure? Basically, the Scarecrow song, I'm trying to make the Scarecrow pop up. Let me try it from here. I won't belabor this too much. You can also get on the boat, by the way. Which sometimes works. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Oh, I can't stand that. I can't make that work. All right, guys, right up there is a gold skull teller. And yeah, you actually need. Yeah, I feel like such a failure. Um, so that's gold skull teller. Is accessible by using the Scarecrow song and having the Scarecrow pop up. Um, it's that simple. Except it's not. I just failed miserably at, at that, didn't I? Um, I? You know, 
if I had one grievance with the game, it's either A, I'm ignorant of how to make it work perfectly, or B, it's kind of a weird mechanic or setup. Oh, hello. Hey, Next. Hello. Uh oh. Come on. Alright. Yes, because I need more of those. Okay. This boat is ferrying us down the river. Around here, you can jump off. Yeah, the ship is sinking. I'm good. Those arrows are a reminder. A hint of what we'll need in a moment. Across the way is where we need to go. However, look closely. That's a locked door. Look closely. Bottom left-hand side of the screen. We don't have a key yet. We need to get a key. Okay. Up here, check out that big bird statue. Um, anyway, this big bird statue will be instrumental in us crossing this, like, sinking into oblivion space, if you will. All right. Enough about that. We're going on into here. This room is filled with bad guys and invisible walls. Check it out. Turning on the lens of truth. Okay. It's actually kind of a, um, there's four points in here in which you can travel. So we're just going to make our way to each one. Starting with this one. Kind of going counterclockwise. Oh, right. These are moving spikes, which I'll show you in just a second. Moving spikes coming towards us and they will crush the living snot out of us. Oh, Eric, come on. There it is. Um, there we go. Check it out. I can't use my camera. Okay. Point is, Din's fire. These are wooden spikes. What happens when fire meets wood? And they're gone. Okay. I see one, two of those guys in. Look, that's a boss key. Nice. All right. So we got the boss key. Sun song. Let's bring the sun. Also. Thank you for staying frozen. I get it with the five rupees. Oh. Uh, We have a boss key. Okay. I was about to say, we could leave. No. No. What was across that? We saw a small key, meaning a door that requires a small key. So, let's continue searching these rooms. I see a room off to this side. You missed me. Nice try. Um, until we find a small key. Ah, yes. This room. All right, let's try the other one. I want to say it's not in this room, but I could be completely wrong. You notice how I'm turning on the lens of truth? Hmm. Yes, this has an invisible... Spin attack because I can take these guys out easier. Oh, get off me! I just want to get the switching swords. 
Darn it. Maybe I don't. We will get this figured out, won't we? Get back here, you little bugger. Should have done that the first time. I could use some magic, right? Thank you. Alright. We're gonna need it coming up. There's a small cave. Alright. Coming up. We definitely need magic. And a lot of it. And arrows. Um. Okay, now that we're out here. Way. Currently shut to us. Okay. However, check it out. Let's get out our fairy bow. Let's see if it makes some sparks fly. Right, here we go, guys. Or I can actually hit my target. statue becomes our bridge. I love that. Did I mention I love this game? Thank you. Thank you. to get out my ocarina. Song of Time. Gives us a time block. That's what Navi was trying to tell us by turning green right there. This would be lovely if I actually got it to work this time. The embarrassments never stop. Okay. Using our lens of truth, we can see around this room, okay? Right across there, that's the boss door, all right? That's what it's all about how we beat this, how we get out of this dungeon. However, we can't just walk forward now, can we? Even, I mean, it does help to actually see where we're going. Now. Auto jump. Oh, auto jump. You do me like that. Okay, next. It's okay, we recover. We move on, we put on our hover boots. I find going to the left to be the most direct, best way to get there. And we're there. When we're not auto jumping to our deaths. All right, guys, we are here at the boss door. And let's check out our inventory. Right here, there's a shadow temple map. Map, compass, and right there, guys, the big key, or the boss key. We have it, we can unlock it. Let's go in. Here we 
there he is, guys. <clears throat> bongo bongo. found that that method works best. <sighs> Hit the hands, do the best you can with your arrows, okay? Z target them. Don't Z target them if you, if you can't. But you can shoot arrows blindly, or you can use your lens of truth, or if you slash, slash and burn, because you know that he's going to be coming between his two hands coming at you. Keep slashing. You'll hit his eye even before, or right before it becomes, uh, we can see it again, you know, from uh, invisible to visible. So, and then you just go at him. And then with a bigger and sword, it doesn't take very long. Crazy. And I have, uh, I've spent a few times in the past, other times when I've played. Anyway, uh, he, he can be quite frustrating. And believe me, I know. I know. I've been there. And we got an entire heart container. I like it. Very good. The Shadow Temple. Into the portal we go. Let's see what awaits us on the other side. Zelda Zacharina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants, however, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the Sacred Realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. Princess Zelda is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, to face and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here you go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. You receive the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours.
Please look out for the princess. Wasn't that great? The Shadow Temple. Guys, that was great. And I'm not just talking about how quickly I defeated Bongo Bongo. Believe me, I've been there. I've had him beat me over and over again, uh, where I'd fig trying to figure out my technique. I mentioned that, you know, boots, no, or hover boots, arrows, and, and what weapon to use, and all this kind of stuff. Finally, over the years, I developed a technique that worked pretty well, and I described it to you. I tried to execute it, and uh, I guess I did well this time. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm thrilled that I did well for you guys. Because, you know, when we're hanging out, I don't exactly want to have the worst showing in the world. I mean, who does, right? Um, so anyway, I'm thrilled that we got to do the Shadow Temple, oh, fight an insane myriad of enemies, and, and then finally get the hover boots and the Lens of Truth last time in the bottom of the well. Check that video out. But uh, next time, we have to go save some carpenters at Gerudo's Fortress. I do hope you, sh you know, join me for that. Uh, that's actually, that's kind of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. And after that, we're moving on to the desert. Desert Colossus. We're going to be doing the Spirit Temple after that. So, anyway, guys, this is Loud Boy. I really appreciate you being here for the Shadow Temple. It means the world to me. And I thank you for your comments. And all your likes. And then most of all, you know, um, if you want to keep seeing videos like this, and I have a lot more I want to make. I'm enjoying this a lot. Video production I've been doing for about 30 years at least 30 years, and the fact that I get to share this with you guys, two of my great passions, Zelda, my most favorite game of all time, and my passion for video, the fact that I get to put those together, and you guys are joining me, you guys are making my dreams come true. And it's not lost on me how important it is that you're hanging out with me. It means a lot, and I thank you. So guys, this is Loud Boy. Join me next time, Gerudo Fortress. This has been the Shadow Temple. I hope you guys have a blessed evening. Until next time, go get them.